Ooh. Hi folks! <laughs> you are you are watching and listening to Sipping Off the Cup on Tequila Aficionado Media on all of our channels and networks on Mike Morales <laughs> and, and this gentleman right here next to me is Alex Perez here in Southern California. As you can see, we are behind the bar. We are at the bar. We are at the bar. <laughs> We're behind the shtick. <laughs> Alex finds himself behind the shtick a lot because Alex does a lot of cocktail work, mixology, because that's his thing. Uh, me, I very rarely, rarely find myself behind the bar unless I'm talking to people. Uh, but today, we are going to be tasting and dissecting this very Ooh. special iteration expression from Siempre Tequila. Some of you folks who are watching a lot of the Instagrammers online right now, they got a whole bunch of these going out. And, you know, and, and first of all, I, let me say this. Alex Lacroix, one of the owners, along with Monica, um, uh, his cohort, his, his partner in crime, um, they made this happen for us. We literally were the first ones in the country to get this tequila. I know that all reviews are out instantly, but I saved these for Alex and myself because it deserves to be to be given a much longer review. Although uh, I I know there's a couple of uh, a couple of catadores who, who are really well versed. Uh, if you haven't, um, I'm not sure if if uh, Bryce. Uh, there you go. You will do the honors. You know, I don't know if Bryce, uh, the Austin Tequila Connoisseurs, has done his yet, but I know he has uh, shown it on, on his Instagram. He does wonderful reviews. He's one of our TJs as well. But this one's official for us. Nice. Look at this. The, first of all, I want to say I'm going to borrow your paddle, Is that if that's okay. Yes, sir. Brand Promise nominee in the packaging, and I'll tell you why. This labeling is special. It's It's been... It's been done on purpose for these lines. If you know anything about Siempre, they've come up with these, this line of, 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 um, of tequila expansion. They're expanding the lines, but they're, do, they're hoping to do more of these and kind of move things around from different distilleries. This is not from the original distillery. This is from 1137, which is La Cofradia, one of our favorites. The master distiller, Carlos Hernandez, uh, also known as Charlie Hernandez, and uh, I've met him once years and years ago, and our, he was one of our first uh, trips to, to tequila and our first distillery. The guy is a mad genius. Uh, if you don't believe me, I remember, Alex, when, when, we, were, when we were young, <laughs> you know, back in the day, uh, they were one of the first ones to come out with like, uh, Casa Noble, and Casa Noble was triple distilled, right? And everybody said, that's impossible. You can't triple distill anything. It, it, there was all kinds of naysayers and saying it was all bullshit. This guy invented triple distillation. He had brands at quadruple distillation. And he had brands at quintuple distillation. And I've had all of them. And I got to say, I, you know, I, you, you sometimes wonder, well, what's the difference? You know, and, but when you have these at, different, at multiple distillations, they're the only ones that I know that can that has the it immediately gives you a different flavor profile you can take a four and a five distillation and go at least coming from la cofradia so these guys they went to the source now check this out i, we, I have not opened these these are brand new everything you need to know is on the label which is why we're i love that we're nominating them this is what they did at la cofradia and alex and i were looking at this off camera it says taona crushed Okay, unbeknownst to us, I didn't even know they had a Tawana. Did you know that? No, I didn't. They have a Tawana. I, I didn't know that. Uh, while fermented. Okay, so I know that inside the distillery, it's inside a building, but it's open air fermentation, as you can see, in stainless steel. Okay, so I know that. But when they say wild dis uh, fermentation, I, I'm going to say that they're not using, uh, they're not using yeast or if they are, they're using proprietary yeast for, from their agaves, okay, from their own agave. Um, special cut, high proof. I'm telling you, everything you need to know is on this label. Uh, Supremo agave, you know, comes, comes from a dragon, for those of you who are, you know, watching. <laughs> the, so what's the ABV on this? The, is it 55? Oh, so 55. This is still so. strength. Okay, so that being said, I'm going to use my Stasso Jarrito that I normally use for high proof. Alex, if you do the honors, um, 
we're going to we're going to taste and dissect this thing at oh yeah. It's got a real cork on that. That's a real cork. Ooh, hello. Oh look Ooh. at the bubbles! Bubbles! Those are those are like mezcal bubbles, man. Wow. You can smell that already. Wow. I'm using my Glen Karen. Oh boy. Wow. We're gonna let it open up. That greets you right away. Yeah. And I know the bottle is, it looks like it's a recycled bottle. Even if you look at the bottle, it's got um, La, La Rosa. I'll have to read it to you because it's, it's embossed in the bottle. And uh, it says, uh, La, La Rosa creció de la adversidad. This is the rose that grew out of adversity. And, it's and on the label. You know, it's, it's, yeah, it's what's on the label. And this is the upside down rose. Um, that seems to be a... Um, a, a theme for uh, Siempre, and it's been on some of the, all their bottles. Um, yeah, so this is still strength. You know, we've had still strength from from a lot of the Camarenas. Um, I enjoy high proof all the time. 55 is uh, what? Uh, 100 110 proof. 110 proof. Okay, I'm going to say that uh, uh, the last 110 mm -hmm. I had was Tapatio. You got to be careful with a 110. If you're not used to high proof and you're swirling around in your mouth, if you do it long enough with enough sips, it, it tends to burn a little bit, a singe a little bit <laughs> in your mouth. Because let's face it, this is a mucous membrane, folks. Your mouth is that's what it is. So be careful. Um, I'm. I've got the the Stasso Jarrito that I normally use for mezcal and high proof. It's got a wider mouth surface. So it, it, it allows for more dissipation of alcohol. <sighs> wow, but that alcohol is still there. Yeah. It's, it's what are you getting? Are you getting it? Now, the legs and tears are beautiful. Look at that. I, I, show your show yeah, your Karen. Beautiful viscosity. Yeah. The body on this thing. Oh, my God. It's got Pamela Anderson all over beautiful. it. <laughs> She's Canadian. Because <laughs> Alex Lacroix and Monica are both Canadian. They're both... I remember the kids. We, we loved the kids. That's what we used to call them. They used to reach out to us and wish that they could send us their tequila while they were still in Canada. They would send us love, little love notes. They were so cute, these guys. <laughs> now look at them. Now look at them. It's been, it's been gratifying to see where they've taken the brand and what they've done with it and how they've persevered, which is the theme of their tequila. So a lot of citrus. Yeah, it's heavy on the citrus. And you know, surprisingly, there's not, there's not a whole. Once there, I'm not sensing a bunch of alcohol, like I like I have with a top of tea every once in a while, it'll just come up to you. This is, and of course, I've got a much wider mouth surface than you do. I mean, how are you getting it in your in your? Um, that's why I'm. That's why I'm swirling it so okay. much, <laughs> just letting it oxygenate. But um, you know, a lot of good roasted agave and citrus notes. Now it says it's Taona crushed, and the Taona tends to leave a, a residue flavor. It adds, a, it adds another layer of flavor and complexity to the nose and to the to the flavor. So a little bit of minerality. Yeah, and and both of you you've been to the Cofradia, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, we've both been. Uh, it's been years. I mean, I'm sure it's. I'm, I haven't seen the hotel. They have a little boutique hotel where you can actually sleep in barrels. Um, I'm hoping that one day I get to sleep in that barrel. <laughs> nice. It's a there's a denseness. There's a denseness in the in the in the in the. It's the alcohol. Could be. Could uh, probably so. To my knowledge, this this one is not being fermented with with the with the. Um, oh, Fermented with fibers, but we have that other one that's coming. All right, I'm ready to dive in. Okay, let's see what we get. Maybe it'll open up after. Mm. <coughs> mm. 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 Man, hello. <coughs> That's just an explosion of the palate there. Wow, there's all kinds of flavor though. Yeah. I got the taona, I got the minerality, that wet cement. I got sweetness. There's, a, sweetness. there's a surprisingly sweet. Got the citrus. 
And then this pepper explosion. Holy cow, this is intense. What a finish. It's still finishing for me. <clears throat> wow. Well. Wow. That's a high proof. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> this is a no mistake in high proof. Wow. But, you know, this is, to me, a sipping high proof. Yes, it is. It's got a lot of layers of flavor. Yeah. Um, and it's more prominent, I think, in the, in the flavor than it is in the nose for me right now. And it could be because it's just... just there's enough alcohol. This has been sealed on my living room floor, but so I brought it here. So. Wow. Damn. This will be great in the wintertime. Wow. Oh, my goodness. It definitely warms you up. Yeah, there's, a, there's, a, there's much more depth, I think, in the flavor. You're getting a lot <clears throat> more of it. Yeah, this is a heavy-duty Blanco. Retro is powerful. Yeah, <clears throat> but all the a lot of the stuff I'm missing comes back to me. I want to say <clears throat> there's agave there, and you know, La Cofradia. If you've had enough of these tequilas from the Cofradia, they make they make Senor Rio, um, several other ones. A uh, uh, five one two. Uh, they were they did <clears throat> make the first the first expression iteration of eight one eight, but you know the, the Blancos normally have a stamp. The Cofradia has a has a flavor stamp that it's unmistakable kind of like jose cuervo patron they they just have that you just know where it came from even blind you, if you've had enough of them you can go oh that's cofradia i'm not sure i'm getting that and if i'm getting it i've never had a high i can't say i've never had a high proof i think one of the ones that i had that was multiple distilled came in at a higher proof you know, I'm getting a lot of is um, yeast. Yeah, but they're not there. It's a wild fermentation, so yeah. I don't know what the, you know. Would it be? Uh, are you sure? Just a little bit of yeast. I guess not a bad thing considering the amount of alcohol that's no. in here. But that flavor. That flavor explosion in the mouth. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I've got to go through with another this one here. This is dangerous. It is. Uh, um, I had to read the label because I, I honestly had not. I was so happy to get them, but I hadn't, you know, because I haven't opened them, none of them, because um, I wanted to wait until we got here to do that. I, I didn't get a chance to dissect the label to see what my information was. And I was so happy to see... Um, I, I've been very fortunate. Alex, uh, Alex Lacroix has. We've kept in touch, okay. And, and I knew this was coming. Um, we knew we knew it was going to happen. We had seen the graphics before. We were very fortunate to get a lot of that uh, under the radar. And and so I was very excited to see what they were going to come up with. But I had no clue. This this kid, this guy went bananas. <laughs> Cause I don't know. First of all, I got I got I don't understand how you got Carlos Hernandez to do your bidding. <laughs> Cause well, you know, you made him do stuff that probably he hasn't done in in decades. Have you ever had a high proof wow. from from La Cofradia? I have had some gamey old school Casanova. Mm -hmm. You know where they let the plant where literally the plant was over ten years old. You know. And Casa Noble was, I think, the first one to get their certification, organic certification. And the agave doesn't come from tequila. They have fields in Narayit, which, which are the, uh, the, the, where the, the field is, is organically certified. Um, but I've never had a high proof from these guys. I have So I, I had no bar. I had no idea. Because I'm expecting to get that, that high proof, you know, um, I'm expecting to get that stamp, that cofradia stamp, right. and I'm not getting it, no. which is not a bad thing. It's okay. Wow, that's very good. Mm. The flavor profile is much more savory. 
I mean, the only one tin that I can compare it to is, is, is Tapatio. And Tapatio is much brighter, in my opinion. And the alcohol is much more dangerous because I have I have literally singed my the inside of my mouth. I, we took it with us camping when we were when we were on the road doing the doing the um, <laughs> we, we were touring, and one ten Tapatio one ten was one of our sponsors, and and so I you know after working or traveling or whatever I'd sit there with a one ten. There's a picture of me on one of our Instagrams with me and the one ten you know, but I gotta tell you that one ten is lethal for the inside of your mouth this one this one feels much more savory to me it is savory it's got a lot of depth right this has got a lot of depth okay um do you want to show the paddle <laughs> definitely brand of promise oh oh yeah brand of promise nominee of promise folks nominee. in the high proof category wow. and this is a the finish wow what a finish this is, a, this is definitely a unique tequila okay now <clears throat> Since it is more savory and it's got all the other characteristics, I did say this was a, a si I would say a sipping 110. But could you do something with this sure, as a cocktail? Sure, you could. Sure, you could. I, I would definitely put, I mean, can you imagine this in a margarita? I mean, or, but then again, I mean, this is such a, I would actually float this. Oh! I would float. You this. would float this. A floater is when they, yeah. they take... Go ahead, explain yeah, floater. So, explain I mean, floating. I mean, I'd use the regular siempre. Right. Oh. And then float this. Oh! Oh! Even though... And that's a, now, the regular siempre doesn't come from the same distillery, though. Would that make a difference? We have to find we have out. some experimenting to do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean... What that's a great you idea. Want, you want. Alex, if you're watching... Yeah. Take your regular... Take your regular siempre. Float it on float top. It. No, we, we float it on what on top of a margarita? You mean or yeah, on a spagoma yeah. or something? No, on a margarita. Float okay. It. So, so it's like, like a it, yeah, like so a smoky I mean, margarita. margarita. If not, you'd have to. I mean, two ounces of this. So that's that. You're done. Yeah, you're. <laughs> so <laughs> two ounces of your of your regular proof, eighty proof. We have to move you away from a, with a luggage cart. And then cart. you float, float float this on top. <laughs> float this on top. So. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because you know, with with Tapatio One Ten, it's to me, it's not a floater because the the, the spirit was so bright right. that it would you know it would be great in in mixed cocktails because it's going to shine through. Sure. But I did not. Sorry, I didn't turn off my phone. Um, but with this one, you're right. This is this is denser, and so you would add an extra layer of complexity to right, right. to the margarita. Right on top. Wow. What else would you do with it? Anything? How about a dirty martini? Or is that too high? Is the proof too high? It, it, it's it's up there, but... Shaken. Again, you're talking, Shaken, not you're talking, you're talking two, three ounces, typically. So it'd be a, it'd be a, short, a short martini. <laughs> but this thing, this thing, this thing has, packs a punch. This thing packs a punch. Um, An elegant punch. Oh, and the more you have some, now it's opening up for me. The the after flavor, there's a really a definite sweetness with a little, with a, I want to say minerality. I'm going to say that this is coming from the Taona. Mm -hmm. Because the, uh, of course, we all, we've all had um, Fortaleza, Taona, Stone Wheel. And, and that Stone Wheel leaves a definite imprint in the flavor profile of the tequila. Now that this is opened up, and I've only had that that, that one pour because that's all I'm going to get. Um, now I was getting a little bit more of the Taona and the minerality coming from the, the, the wheel, the stone wheel. Uh, a lot of folks um, in Mexico call it La Piedra. Uh, and some people don't like the so much of La Piedra in, in their flavor profile, but this one this one's excellent. I love it. Really different. Brand of Promise nominee in the uh wow in the air oh, wow in the high proof high proof thank you <laughs> in the extra i was going to call it the, well they call it the supremo the extra alcohol the extra alcohol <laughs> so folks if you've had it now now it's probably available a little bit more readily on the on the market tell us what you're doing with it 
Leave us a comment down below if you're watching us on, on, uh, on YouTube or if you happen to see any of this on Instagram, you can leave us a comment there. Uh, if you're listening to us on the podcast, like at Spotify or whatever, great. Thank you for subscribing. Hey, download them anywhere where you're getting your podcast. There's like, I forget, like nine different platforms that we're available now on, on, on the podcast. It's awesome. Hit the notification bell if you're watching us on YouTube. Give us a like. That helps with the algorithm. And whatever you do, sip wisely. <laughs>